A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. This is the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It began as the prophet Isaiah had written. God said, I will send you my messenger ahead of you to clear the way for you. Someone is shouting in the desert, get the road ready for the Lord, make a straight path for him to travel. So John appeared in the desert, baptizing and preaching. Turn away from your sins and be baptized, he told the people, and God will forgive your sins. Many people from the province of Judea and the city of Jerusalem went out to hear John. They confessed their sins and he baptised them in the river Jordan. John wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather belt around the waist and his food was locusts and wild honey. He announced to the people, The man who will come after me is much greater than I am. I am not good enough even to bend down to untie his sandals. I baptise you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. What a wonderful piece of scripture. And I think it really does remind us of two really important key aspects of Advent. One, that we're preparing for the birth of Christ and we're, we're preparing the way for him. And secondly, not to rely on, on materialistic possessions just like John the Baptist. It's said in the scripture that, that John the Baptist wore a clove of a camel fur just with a belt tied around the side. I think sometimes we can get so swept up with Christmas and so worried about getting the right gift for somebody and maybe spending the same amount of money that they've spent on us that we forget that actually the important thing about Christmas is the fact that we put time aside to spend with our loved ones and that's what we should be really appreciating at this time. The key feature is the fact that we're preparing for the birth of Christ. So John the Baptist was leading the way. He was getting everybody ready to, to meet this amazing figure who would offer them salvation, who would forgive them of their sins. But they had to be courageous. They had to go and vocalise and say what their sins were and be baptised in the River Jordan. They took time out of their life to say, this is what I've done and this is what I'm sorry for and I want a fresh start. We've just started our new liturgical year and what a great time for a fresh start. I'm going to give you this mission this week that I'd like you to put some time aside for God. Now I know things are a little bit different so if you're used to going to confession or reconciliation during Advent and um, particularly at school I know we usually have that. Things are slightly different so you might not have that available to you. Take some time at home. Sit down in your bedroom or with your family. Take time to think about the things that you've done that perhaps you're not particularly proud of and say sorry for them. Now to say sorry means that you're going to try your utmost to not do it again. So when you are saying sorry, think about what you can put in place to make sure that you can be a better person, that you can be a better Christian. I hope you all have a lovely weekend.